Hi, Cooking from the Brink here tonight. What we're going to do tonight is do some uh, ribeyes. I'm doing a little bit of a product uh, taste review. Uh, chupa, chupacabra rub with the uh, no MSG on it. We put that on the um, the ribeyes tonight. And my wife likes that Montreal grill mates. So I put hers uh, her seasoning on there. But uh, we'll put them on the grill and we're going to check them out, see how uh, they taste in comparison. Hopefully it'll be quite uh, delicious anyway. Haven't had a ribeye for a while. And uh, we're uh, looking forward to some, some nice barbecue tonight, a little bit of smoke, a little grilling. And uh, hopefully you'll get to see a nice uh, ribeye and hopefully I'll get to eat one. So we'll get you back in a minute.
I like mine a little bit more uh, done, more done. I, I like mine done. Um, or if that's hers medium, I like mine a little medium well. So 145, about 146 there. And this one is about, looks like hers is almost there, about 140, 142. If I don't melt, melt my thermometer and test it. We're getting there pretty close. I'll probably go to about 150 and pull them off and let them rest. All right, Chupacabra, Montreal um, seasoning, steak seasoning. So we'll check the two, taste the difference, and we'll give you my honest opinion. All right, get you back. Pretty moist. There you go. We're gonna go check these out. All right, let's get these little fellas one more little turn. Get those in the middle. If you've never had grilled vegetables, you should try it. I like mine a little bit more than this, but as far as done, this a little bit of grill mark on it. But uh, they've been on there a little bit. I know they're done. So let's, uh, if I had the right instrument for the right job, I'd be all done already. But you know how we are men. We don't want to stop. We figure we can do it anyway. We can figure it out. So get these in here. Get things plated. And then we'll uh, do a little taste test on this. Chupacabra and uh, Montreal Steak Grill Mates. See uh, in comparison what the taste flavors, what they taste like, and what flavors that we like. See if uh, see how, how it uh, stands up. All right. Last two little guys there, and we are. Done. Just right. Okay, Chupacabra. Mmm, that, that is excellent taste. Didn't overpower the steak. Good seasoning. So let's try the other one. We'll see what that tastes like. Be right back. The top half of that really tender. That's good too. I think this has a little bit more salt on it, but. I think my wife added some salt to it. No? So it's a little more salty with the um, the grill mates. That's a little saltier than uh, chupacabra. So I think I will, I would definitely like the chupacabra better. It doesn't have as much salt and it has some great flavor. So for a ribeye, this is excellent. So give it a try. I'm gonna try some more. Yeah, well, I had some uh, vegetables, and I decided to put some chupacabra on the vegetables, and I'll tell you what, that really made the uh, vegetables really flavorful. So, on the meats, a thumbs up, and the vegetables, two thumbs up on the vegetables. So, give them a try. This is excellent stuff.
Cooking on the Brink. We'll see you again next time.